Hello friends, today we will see how to use DB role editor to hand over your client website to the clients. So why do we need DB role editor? Uh, because it is very powerful and powerful feature which is offered by DB to manage the uh, control over the DB builder and the DB theme. Because when you hand over the website uh, with the control, uh, with the all the control to your client, it uh, when they try to edit they can mash up with your design they can you know ruin re your complete work and uh, it and then they will come to you as a uh, come to you and uh, they will ask to you know uh, re uh, restore your design so to avoid this kind of thing you should be cautious before handy uh, handovering your uh, website to your client so uh, before uh, understanding the role editor we need to understand what are the roles which are present in the WordPress in the WordPress there in the WordPress there are five type of roles first is administrator editor author contributor and subscriber so let me just explain you uh, give you overview what actually these roles stand for so administrator has a complete control over the website so he can uh, add the plugin he can add the theme he can he has no limitation over the website uh, let's come to editor so editor are the uh, editor are the uh, people who can edit the pages and ed can edit the post can edit the comment can edit the category or tags and the links so they can't uh, uh, play around the themes uh, uh, core file plugin so they can't uh, play around that thing now let's head over to the author so author are the uh, people who can you know uh, uh, can edit and upload the uh, photos publish the post so they can only play around the uh, blog section you can say post section and then there is a fourth option of contributor so these contributors are the people who can you know uh, post their content by their own so they can only edit their on content they can't edit uh, any, any others uh, content so and now let's come to the subscriber so these are the followers who just uh, receive the updates like what i what are the blogs have updated on this website and this kind of thick notification comment and post kind of thing is uh, uh, sent to the subscriber so now uh, let's head over to the role editor so basically thing over the uh, the DB WordPress website you should uh, you should understand like whether your client is technical or not before uh, if the client is technical and has a time and know about this uh, uh, technological term then you can hand over them the administrator and same feature uh, with the full feature which uh, DBs give you but if a client is non-technical background and he does not know about the uh, WordPress kind of thing so he just want to just change the content or he wants to just change the image or uh, uh, you know uh, uh, change the link so in that case so I would prefer you to make a new user of uh, editor with the role of editor and then assign the uh, features which is actually uh, needed to be given to the non-technical client so i always prefer to give uh, 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 assign create a new user whether they the client is technical or non-technical and then give the access to them okay so let's uh, head over to our wordpress login and let's see how to achieve that kind of thing so let me just log into my this wordpress db website So now just go over the user section and tap on the new add a new user. Now just give the user name over here and just give the mail id and the first name and the last name and if you have if that person has a website you can even go there and if you want to uh, add a custom password so you can go there or uh, you can change that password also so and be always remember there can be some more roles uh, when you will uh, uh, head over to the website because of uh, some extra plugins so let's say for example if you install the yoast uh, seo plugin so two more roles are uh, added to your wordpress website like uh, 
uh, SEO manager, SEO setting, this kind of thing. And uh, like for uh, like if you install the WooCommerce, then there is uh, another uh, few more roles are uh, added like shop manager, customer. And if you add a LMS plugin, then there is one more role are added. So, but by default, the WordPress gives the five roles that is subscriber, contributor, author, editor, and administrator. So what you have to do is like you have to change uh, to the editor and then just add it. Just uh, tap on the role editor. Now as you can see, you can see all the roles which are present on your WordPress website can be seen. So in our case, we need to just edit to go to the editor section. And now these are the few uh, these are the complete features which uh, DB gives to the administrator so what you have to do is like we don't want uh, our client to add things from the uh, library or he can do split section or page option and portability so we will disable, disable all the settings from here now from the builder interface what we need to just disable is like we need to we don't want our user to add or edit any module uh, add or delete any module can move or uh, disable item lock item upload uh, and uh, okay visual builder they can uh, uh, enable visual builder so load layout so we don't want that also so in the builder interface we need to just enable three settings that is edit item so what uh, does edit item do is like basically they can edit any modules and can change the content over there so like uh, toggle db builder what means it can it is like that from the front uh, front of the website they can enable the db builder and visual builder is from the back end so we need to just enable this thing now uh, head over to the library setting just we do not we do not want to uh, uh, want our client to add anything from the library so what we will do is like we will disable the all the things now like in setting tab so we just want to let the clients to edit their content we don't want to play around the design thing or advanced thing so just disable advanced and design thing and now in the setting settings types so basically these are the things like uh, in the design section what are the things you want to your client to edit so we basically want to disable everything so we will keep the only two settings enable so let's delete, uh, disable edit, uh, edit font, edit button, edit layout, uh, and edit border. So we will just keep edit content and edit configuration. Why we will keeping? Why we will keep this thing? So by edit content, so basically they can edit, uh, they can change the content on the web uh, on any section or a module. And uh, edit configuration lets the user to change the background the image, change the background. Uh, uh, video so they can uh, do that thing also now in the modules use so you can just keep the all module settings enable because uh, they can edit any module content any module images uh, if you if you will disable any module so if that module is present on that uh, website so they can't even change the content or the uh, images of that thing so just enable that thing as uh, enabling that thing they can add, uh, edit any content or image of that module because uh, but they can't add any module or any uh, can, they can't uh, uh, add module or delete any module because we have disabled that setting from the builder interface add or delete item so so just enable all the module from here now from the support center just disable all the things we don't want them to access the support so just disable that thing and from the portability also just disable all the things and uh, now just save all the settings and now your db wordpress website is ready to hand over to your client website so let me just show you how actually it does look like so so as you can see as you can see like uploading thing or all the themes plugin that all the things has gone so like db thing everything has gone 
now what the you client can do is like basically he if we want to let's visit on the front end of the website so let's suppose he just want to change this text so what he will do is like from the top toggling a DV visual there he will enable that thing just enable the DV visual builder and now just head over to any module settings like if you go to the section setting so as you can see you can change the links you can just change the background and kind of thing if you want uh, but uh, let's basically we want our user to just change play around the content and image so what they can do is like if see uh, they can change the content uh, if we, they want to change it if they want to add a link they can do that thing if they want to change the background so they can do that thing so basically see the design tab and advanced tab has disabled so now what they will do is like they will just save it and exit it so hope you hope you enjoy watching this video do subscribe to this channel more tutorial videos are coming on to this channel thank you